Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some lilac nails using First Base and Flirty from Madam Glam. You can save 50% off all month using code NATMOG50, but it won't work if there's a sale on Madam Glam's website, but you know, you could try. Right, I'm gonna use these lilac Christmas decals from Nail Sugar. They're absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love them. You can save 10% as well using my code NATMOG10, also on this glitter that I'm throwing all over the place. It's called Isopal and it's absolutely lovely and it goes really, really well with these lilac decals, which I'm, so, look at it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Right, so we are going to do a French nail, which is why I grabbed Flirty. It's a slightly sheerer colour than usual. It's not as opaque as some of Madame Glam's colours. Um, so we're going to use it as a nail bed colour. We're going to do one coat of that on one nail and we're going to pop it in the lamp and cure it for 30 seconds. Then all three of the other nails, I'm going to apply one coat of first base. So this is like, it's basically a pink, but I thought the lilac went really nicely with this one. The lilac decals went really nicely with this one. Once I've done all three nails, I'll pop them in the lamp for a cure. And then um, on this nail, I'm going to, I don't know why I was using the brush in the bottle, because this is just easier, right? Take a dollop of your colour, stick it on your palette, use a detailer brush to draw on your smile line, and then fill the rest in with the bottle brush. Don't do it this, I've done it backwards for some reason. It's easier to do the smile line first, and then fill in the free edge. I, I'm, I don't know why. I was just having a mad moment but there we go once you're happy with your smile line shove it in the lamp and do two coats and in fact i do two coats on all of the nails but two of the nails i'm going to wipe off the tacky layer because i want to add some glitter and can you see the pigment that comes off there's always a little bit of pigment that comes off and i'm going to use the base coat to apply the glitter but sometimes the pigment mixes with the base coat and then it kind of hinders the look of the glitter so we don't want any pigment in this base coat so yeah, so we've got our base coat on our nails, uncured. I'm gonna dab a little bit of the glitter into a glitter tray and then using my ombre brush, randomly, um, you could use a gel brush as well for this bit. I've dipped, dabbed it into a little bit of the base coat and then I'm gonna dip the base coat on the end of the brush into the glitter and then I am going to put the glitter onto the nail where I want it. This one, I'm gonna do a bit of a glitter fade. So the bulk of the glitter will be up towards the cuticle area. And then as we go down the nail, the glitter is gonna sort of spread out more. You see what I've done there? Once you're happy with how it looks, throw it in the lamp for a 30 second cure. And then on this nail, I am actually gonna put, uh, what do you call it? A decal in the center of this nail. So I, I and I only want like a little, I only want a little sprinkle of glitter as well. I don't want masses on this one, but the middle of the nail there, can you see I'm just moving the glitter away from the middle of the nail because I, I want the tree in the middle there. So again, I've just got a sprinkling around the outside and I'm going to cure that in the lamp and that will keep that glitter where I want it. On this nail, the French one, I thought we could add a little reef to the French, the, to the tip, to the free edge. So I've cut off all the decals that I want to use for this set. I feel like we're using loads on this set. You're going to need water and a stamper. And place your decal upside down on the stamper. If you are new to my channel, this is how I apply stamp... Uh, I, I, uh, this is how I add decals to my nails now. I put this, the decal upside down, dab it with water, and then you just need to wait several seconds and the decal will start to soak up the water. And then eventually the backing will just slide off and you can stamp your decal wherever you want it on your nails. And it's just as simple as that. I'm gonna do the same with the reef as well. It usually takes probably no more than 20 seconds for the back end to slide off. And again, this just stamps into the tacky layer of the gel polish. How cute are these decals? I really love these so much. But I'm going to do the same on this one with the presents, but I'm going to do it in a zigzag. And I've done it off camera because it's just exactly the same as the other two. 
I am velvet matte top coat in this set. I'm sorry, if you like them shiny, you can recreate them shiny. I just love matte top coat. I do, it's true. Those of you that have been here for a while, I'm sorry, you'll know this. <laughs> Right, pop them all in the lamp once they're covered and then we're going to use the white gel paint to go around the smile line of this nail. I can't remember initially what I was going to do. I've done this set a few days ago and I don't know, I think I was just going to leave it with the white line like this. <clears throat> but I decided that I was going to sprinkle it with some diamond dust, but I'm going to I'm going to go back to the nail in a second. I haven't cured the gel paint yet either so don't panic um i decided to add some little flicks coming down to make it look like almost like icicles and the diamond dust glitter is a transparent like translucent -y one so it just looks it looks amazing <coughs> sugared <coughs> on white so i'm not going to cure that i'm going to sprinkle the glitter into the uncured gel i feel like i need to sneeze oh i've just done another voiceover bless you <coughs> and i've just said i think i'm getting a cold in in this other voice in my members only video i've just done my members only video finally and i've just said i think i'm getting a cold i might not be i hope i'm not um but yeah i could be anyway look i've just pl added some little dots onto this now and we're going to turn these into little stars and when i do the little stars i do the flicks up the flicks down and then little flicks left and right Usually my left and right ones aren't quite as long as my up and down ones. And you can also do little diagonal ones if you want to. Yeah, I don't here. And then I'm just going to add little dots of white all around the rest of the nail. And this is just going to make it look like we've got a little bit of snowfall going on. Like that. And then once I'm happy, I will cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. We're just going to brush off the excess glitter and then I will show you them all together so you can see what they look like all finished. I thought this set was lovely. That's three of them. I'm going to bring you the other one. There we go. I thought these looked really cute. I'll show you a close up anyway. There we go. This is them. I hope you liked them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Websites and discount codes will be below for you. Um, God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.